Hi boys and girls, it's Miss C again. I'm so happy to be doing this again with you guys. I hope you guys had a fun April vacation last week. Okay, so we're going to read a new story today. And I have something to show you. This is where our story is going to come from. This is Miss C's book bag. Let's see what book is going to come out of this bag today. Huh. Hmm, this looks like a fun book. Let's see. The day the teacher went bananas. Hmm. Bananas. I have a special friend that we can read this book with. Do you guys want to meet him? Okay. This is Socks. Hi, Socks. You want to say hi to boys and girls? Okay, Socks, you're going to sit with me, and we're going to read this book. How does that sound? Good? Okay. Socks is going to be right there. Let's see. The day the teacher went bananas by James Howe, illustrated by Lillian Hobb. Remember, James Howe, by James Howe, he is the author, and illustrated by Lillian Hoban, that means she drew all the fun pictures. Let's see. One day, a new teacher arrived at our school. We didn't know what to call him because he wouldn't tell his name. He just grunted a lot. Grunted means just making noises like this. <clears throat> Let's see. Huh, there's something strange about this teacher. Let's see. When it was time for arithmetic, he showed us how to count on our toes. Arithmetic is another word for math. You guys want to try to say it? arithmetic? See, look at all the kids counting on their toes, just like their teacher. We learned a new way to write. They're coloring on the floor and the walls. Oh, let's see. We went outside for science class. Look, they're swinging on the trees and eating leaves. Yuck, that doesn't sound fun. And it looks like they're pounding on their chest. Oh. Let's see. We went back inside for lunch. The teacher ate 16 bananas. Tomorrow, let's bring bananas for lunch, we all said, wanting to be just like our new teacher. Look at all the bananas. Look, all the friends are sitting together eating their regular lunch. A cupcake, a sandwich, an apple. Let's see what happens next with this new silly teacher. Then we had art class. Our teacher taught us how to work with clay. See, they're playing with clay. Clay, if you haven't played with it yet, it's like Play-Doh. And paper and paint. Oh, no. They shouldn't be painting on their faces. Then we studied music. Suddenly, Mr. Hornsby, the school principal, came into the room with another man. Huh. Wonder who that could be. There has been a terrible mix-up, said Mr. Hornsby said. This isn't your new teacher. This is a gorilla. Oh, no. The man with Mr. Hornsby said, I am your new teacher. My name is Mr. Quackerbottom. I was sent to the zoo by mistake. That's a silly name, Mr. Quackerbottom. Let's see. Sadly, we waved goodbye to the gorilla. Oh. Now, 
Mr. Quackerbottom said. What have you learned today? We showed him their coloring on the floor, painting on the walls, counting on their toes. Why, this is awful, said Mr. Quackerbottom. You all belong in the zoo. Let's see what happens next. And the next day, that's exactly where we went. Look. To have lunch with our favorite teacher. See, they're all eating bananas with the gorilla. The end. I hope you guys like that book. This book is pretty silly. What do you think, Socks? Do you think this book is silly too? Okay. Let's see. Do you guys think it'd be fun to have a gorilla be your teacher? What do you think the gorilla would teach you? Hmm. Probably silly things. Like, just like in the book. And what do you think your favorite thing would be about having a gorilla as a teacher? I'm gonna write those questions down below in the description. And if you need a sentence starter, I'm gonna write that next to the question, okay? I hope you guys like the book and I can't wait to read to you guys again. Bye boys and girls. Oh wait, really quick, my pen, it's a pencil and it says, love to teach because I love teaching you guys. Bye.